So one, it feels insane. It's surreal. It's, you, you know, we have lunch and lo I looked out the window and you can see the wall of Petco Field and there's a giant illustrated Kobe and it says Stumptown and you're like, I think that's based on something I wrote. You're right. Right? Yeah. But, and the train. Oh God, the yeah, train. and the train. I, all of these, so on one level it's like, Okay, at this moment in my life, right here, right now, this bottle has a little bolt of lightning in it, and I'm really going to enjoy watching the lightning dance in the bottle, uh, because it would be exceptionally ungracious to do anything else. Uh, with regards to the diversity, you know, and, and you can see it, and, and you know, I heard Herman say she was leaving, you know, I have to get too political. It, art fails if art is not representative of the world around it. All right? You cannot write a story about Portland that does not acknowledge that Portland, despite at times pretending it is only white and predominantly male. Depending what side of the track. Yes, and, and frankly, uh, not only male, but males between 23 and 34, right? With weird curves. Exactly. Uh, it, it is not that. You know, Oregon is, uh, Oregon has a very shameful uh, history of uh, racism, of prejudice. It's in the Constitution. It had to be removed, right? It wasn't, no slavery here, but no black people either. That's how we get around that issue. Um, you know, the indigenous people have been treated as badly in Oregon as they have everywhere else by the U.S. All right. um, the Latinx community, you know, again, it, it, Oregon is a big agricultural state. A lot of migrant workers coming in up to work. Not treated great. So, if you're going to tell a story about Portland, you have to acknowledge all the people as best you can. And then just from a point of view of drama and, uh, and from the angle of crime, crime is about people mistreating other people in society. It's about where the society is broken. That's what the private eye story is about. Right? It's about flaws in the society. So you have to show the diversity because nowhere are those flaws more evident and how quote unquote minorities have been treated. And that was a really long political answer. So now ask something nice and light. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to ask, is there a moment in what you've already shot or what you've read script-wise coming up that, for your character that you can't wait for the audience to see? Is there All, a of moment? <laughs> All of it. All of it. Is there a moment for your uh, character? Just every scene I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> And it sounds no, good, I, uh, <laughs> it's, but it's honest, because I'm not in any of it, and I'm thinking right now, going, yeah, there's not a bad Sue Lin scene. There literally is not a scene with Sue Lin where you're not like, oh, that was awesome. There's not a scene with Tuki where you're not like, oh my god, I want more. And it literally... And for a writer to say that, yeah. yeah. No, it's it, it's such a thrill. I, I feel really blessed. I just have to say that because when I saw who the cast was, everybody's a winner. Like we're talking about stars that have been in series that have been major hits or movies that have been major hits. I mean, award for you. It's crazy, and you know, like, and then the creative team. As, everybody's a winner. Greg's a terrific writer. Like. So just to be in that world, this has been a real gift, and I'm just thankful to everybody. It's very exciting. The, the possibilities are absolutely new cycle. Um, I asked also before, PTSD, the main character is suffering from PTSD. Uh, is that a theme for even other characters? Are we going to see that, that element come up with other characters in the show? Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb a bit okay. um, because Jason isn't here and I don't want to speak for him, but I would argue that there isn't a character that you meet in the pilot 
of the principals, meaning everybody that you're seeing in the room, who is not in one way or another dealing with a trauma. All right. Now, the nature of that trauma in many cases may be radically different. Right. Um, Tantuo and I were talking earlier uh, about effectively the trauma of being Native American. Right. And 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 pushing back against attempted genocide. It is you cannot look at Sulin and not go. This is a woman who's processing a trauma. You know. Um, Tuki's trauma may yet be written. He has dark secrets, but and I tell you, but they're dark. They're secrets, secrets and they're dark. <laughs> but but I do think you can you can probably make a good whether or not that's overtly thematic. But I think it's implicitly thematic. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.